All right, welcome back guys. Today we're gonna do a quick video on adjusting the valves on a J-Series engine. Now mine is a J32A2. It is a Type S from a O2 Acura TL. Now your specs may differ, but pretty much everything else is pretty straightforward and in the same manner. We're gonna do one cylinder today. I'm gonna to show you how to do the intake side, the exhaust side, uh, and how to get everything lined up properly and just how to double check your work. All right, so some things you need to know getting started here. Uh, and one of the most important things is the firing order. So on the J-Series engine, the, the firing order is one, two, three, four, five, six. Very simple. And each cylinder is gonna have four valves on it. You'll get two intake valves and two exhaust valves. Uh, they almost look completely identical on each side. The way you can tell the difference is on the intake side, there's an intake. On the exhaust side, it's where the exhaust is. Should be self-explanatory. Some people get it confused and overthink it, but just think intake manifold, intake valves, exhaust manifold, exhaust valves. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll get started here. So I've got mine already set on number one, but how you find out which cylinder you're actually on, uh, inside this little plug here, this cam sprocket is actually numbered one through six. And you spin this crank pulley until you get to your designated cylinder. And there's a little line mark in there. There's a timing mark. You can line it all up. Um, like I said, mine's already set on one. But when, I want it, when I'm ready and I'm done adjusting that, and I'm ready to go to the next cylinder, I'm just going to continue to spin the engine over. And my next one is four. Uh, and again, like I said, when you look in there, You'll have a timing mark and then there'll be a number. And let's line that up a little bit tighter. All right, and now that I'm on cylinder number four, one, two, three, four. And you'll know you're on the right cylinder because the valve tappets will be loose to, to touch. And you can go to the next cylinder. They're all gonna be tight as a rock. Not all of them, but most of them will be. And as you adjust one, you just go through the next, and you just keep rotating it over, and just adjust whatever cylinder you end up on. Now, it's really as simple as that, but let's go ahead and, and I'm gonna rotate it, I'm gonna set it back on the cylinder number one, just because that's what I like to start with, and we'll show you how to actually adjust the valve itself. Okay, so here we have our cylinder number one intake valve. Um, it'll be the first one. So how we want to adjust this, there's three tools you're going to need. Well, they make a fancy tool to adjust them, but if you're like me, 10 millimeter wrench and a flathead screwdriver. And what we're going to need to do with these is loosen the jam nut here, and then we turn this either clockwise or counterclockwise to either tighten, which is close clearance, or lefty loosen to give more clearance. And how you measure that clearance is with this feeler gauge. And each intake and exhaust valve has its own separate measurement. Uh, the measurements that I'm using, the intake, is 0.20 to 0.24 millimeters. And the exhaust is 0.28 to 0.32. So for my intake, I've got 0.20. For my exhaust, I'm just going to run 0.30. Very simple. And the way you check this clearance, since I'm on my intake side, use my .20, you just slide it underneath. Just like so. You see how it's underneath there? Now, it should slide, but have resistance. This valve actually doesn't even really need to be adjusted. That's actually perfect. But the way that a lot of people like to do this slide the feeler gauge underneath and you can kind of leave it there and then you'll break the jam nut open and then while it's loose you can either tighten or loosen this until you feel it kind of contact and then snug it up and then check your clearance again But that one's good. But that's essentially how you're going to check it on each and every single valve. 
you want that light scraping, you want it to be making contact, almost kind of like running a debit card while you're making a transaction, uh, but not too tight. If it feels like it's sticking at all, you're going to want to back off and loosen it a little bit. But you'll just you'll do that for each side, and I mean, that's really it. So I hope that helped, and enjoy.